Hey, Nash, what should we make? I'm in the mood for comfort food. Why don't you make that fancy chicken thing that tastes like the best chicken pot pie filling ever? All right, let's make chicken fricassee in a crock pot. Today we're making chicken fricassee, which is fun to say, and it's delicious. We're gonna make it in a crock pot. It's an easy dish, so it's another one of those plan ahead, get everything ready the night before, throw it in the crock pot in the morning, and you have dinner ready when you get home. Fricassee, technically, I believe it's a French term, French cooking term, means meat browned technically in butter, although we're not gonna use butter on this, not for that part. Meat browned in butter that is then slow cooked into a stew that's served with a sauce that's made out of the stock. Fun fact, the more you know. Without further ado, let's go. First thing we're gonna do is chop up our veg. We're gonna start with our onions. And then our celery. Then our carrots. And our mushrooms. Now we have our chicken thighs. So I'm just gonna hit these with a little bit of salt, pepper, garlic. I would probably recommend using skin on, but uh, since we don't have that, we are just going to uh, give them a little bit of a cornstarch coating, and then that'll help kind of get the same results. In a hot pan on medium high heat, we are going to toss our chicken in uh, presentation side down, put a little bit of neutral oil in there. We don't want to cook these all the way through. We're just trying to brown them, get a little bit of a sear to add some flavor. And also that's the whole fricassee technique. By the way, I love fricassee because frick's my last name. So fun stuff. So we're gonna do about seven minutes on this side and then just a minute or two on the other side. <laughs> After about seven minutes, we're gonna go ahead and flip these guys and let them go for another about one to two minutes on the other side. When our chicken's almost done, we're gonna take a cup of chicken stock. You can use store-bought, homemade, whatever you have. Put that in our crock pot. And then when your chicken is done, we're gonna add these, what would be the skin side up or skin side up if you have skin on, into the crock pot. I'm gonna try and fit these all into a single layer. I don't know if it's gonna work or not. Yeah, I need a bigger crock pot. Then we're gonna set this to high and we are going to, we're not done with this yet, but for now we'll just set it to high. Keeping that heat on, we're gonna add all of our veggies. And again, we're not looking to cook everything all the way through or caramelize any of this. We're just looking to add a little flavor, basically cook this for two to three minutes until the uh, onions are softened. <laughs> I'm gonna add a little bit of uh, ground thyme to this. Once your veggies are where you want them to be, about two to three minutes, kill the heat, and we're just gonna add all these to this. Just sort of even these out a little bit. Like I said, this is on high. We're gonna let this cook for about two to three hours. If you wanted to go longer, you could do it on low and cook for probably five to six hours. The thighs are pretty forgiving, so if you had to leave it in for a little bit longer, it would probably still work. A few hours later. When your chicken is done cooking for about, you know, two to three hours, up to five, depending if you're doing high or low, you wanna go ahead and remove the chicken. Our chicken got a little shredded, meaning we probably left it in for a little too long. So maybe check your chicken a little early. That's all right though, it'll still taste good. And then you wanna cover the chicken, keep it warm, cover it with some foil or something. And now comes more fun French stuff. So we're gonna make a bourmanier. I'm sure I'm pronouncing that wrong. It's a French term. It's similar to a roux, but we're not cooking it. So you take three tablespoons of softened butter. We're gonna add three tablespoons of flour. And then you're just gonna kind of massage this, knead this until it all is combined into a weird little dough paste thing. So now you can start by adding half. It depends on how thick you want this. So we're gonna add half and our crock pot is still on high. So we're gonna add half of this to this mixture. Just kind of stir that in. Now depending on how much sauce you have, you can add more and depending on how thick you want it. So you can add the whole thing if you'd like. Then once your sauce is nice and thickened, we're gonna go in with about a half a cup of heavy whipping cream. Stir that around. 
We just want to let this warm through and then your sauce is ready to serve. And there we have our beautiful chicken fricassee. This is just it by, by itself with the sauce and a little bit of parsley. You could serve it over rice, you could serve it over pasta, pretty much however you want. Possibilities are endless. Time for a bite, cheers. Mmm, that is so good. Honestly, it tastes like a, I don't want to demean it, but it's like a really fancy, like better, but kind of like a chicken pot pie, but like an amazing chicken pot pie or like the filling of a chicken pot pie. I highly recommend this. It's amazing. I mean, it's creamy, it's tender. The meat is seasoned perfectly. You got those veggies, that cream sauce. It's really good. Let's see what Nash thinks with a tempered uh, onion free version. Come here. Can you sit? Good boy. There you go. What do you think? Oh, you dropped some. Oh, but you got it. Is that good? Is that good? Yeah. Chicken fricassee. It's amazing. I highly recommend it. 10 out of 10 would highly recommend. <laughs> Fancy. <laughs> Fancy chicken pot pie. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you wouldn't mind taking a second to like, subscribe, share the show, it would mean a lot to me, mean a lot to us. If there's anything you want me to make, you want me and Nash to taste, drop it in the comments, let us know. As long as it's realistic, we'll make it. That being said, just remember, cook more, eat better, embrace the chaos. That's it for now, folks. Till next time, peace.